Okay, here's the finished product of what I'll be showing you to create in Flash ActionScript 3. It's toggle functionality, creating a toggle button to where it just doesn't keep popping that window open every time you press it. It has brains to tell you the uh, the button whether or not the window is open fully or not and it'll close it or open it accordingly. Toggle functionality, Flash and ActionScript 3. Hello and welcome to another Flash Building tutorial. Today's lesson will be covering simple toggle functionality within Flash ActionScript 3 and I'll be working in CS3 but you can be in CS4 for your project and it's all the same logic and the same code would work. So we'll hit Flash ActionScript 3 and we'll get right to it. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that my stage is set to the size I wanted to down here and let's say we had some content on the stage and this was our you know maybe you had pages or just an application whatever whatever the application may be and it was a movie clip or whatever it may be we're not going to focus on that we'll focus on well on that same layer I'm just going to add some visual items maybe like a button menu or something some nice colors huh so with toggle functionality you might want to give your users toggle functionality for some of your buttons or some of the interactivity on your flash website uh, because it's easy and it's possible and sometimes it's it's cool in the example I'll show you here it's uh something that would be pretty handy okay so let's say that's your content and let's put it on layer one so on layer two we're gonna make our little toggle button and let's call it toggle help or something and let's give it a little gray fill convert to a symbol button toggle button it'll be named toggle button in the library press OK give it an instance name of toggle underscore btn and let's put some text inside of that say toggle help and that would be a, a good common thing to use a uh, toggle for or any kind of data you want to display with uh, with toggle functionality okay so let's give it an overstate press F6 up here on down, press F6, make keyframes there, and then you can manipulate the keyframes in this one. We'll make this turn um, that color. And then, okay, so we're done with the setup. And now it has an instance name. Now we can code it out to show you the, oh no, I have to make my little toggle window first. Okay, so let's say we want this button, we want to make it to where our users when they press that button a little magic window flies open in an animated fashion from that button to cover the screen or whatever area we want to cover however big we want to make it when it's fully grown and then we want to make it to where they would hit that same button again to retract it and if you tried to code that in to where um, it was just one uh, single function without conditionals it wouldn't work so I'll show you the simple conditionals you can use to create toggle functionality and so we have an instance name now let's make the little movie clip and you can put it on three separate layers maybe this button we'll call this layer toggle btn and on the new layer I just created call that screen or toggle screen the toggle screen 
and I'm going to place it right here. That looks good to me. Get it the color I want it. Okay. Let's convert that to actually let's put some text on it. My content window. You put whatever you want in here. Whatever you want. And then take those two items and just grab those two and convert them to a movie clip while they're both selected. Convert to symbol, movie clip, call it toggle screen in the library. And let's use that for instance name as well. Down here in the instance name, the properties inspector, put toggle screen right there. Okay, so that has an instance name. It's on its own layer. This has an instance name. And that's on its own layer above it. And all of that is above our site content or whatever is there. And so now all we have to do is code the functionality in for the. So uh, the button will open the window and then retract the window when it should or shouldn't. Oh, let me go in here and finish this. Sorry. Double clicking inside that movie clip again. Let's convert this both to a movie, another movie clip. Call it inner toggle button. Okay, and it doesn't need an instance name. It's just going to be. Let's see, put a stop action here by pressing F9 and type in STOP open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon. That's a stop action and put a stop action there so this doesn't loop because I'm going to make a keyframe here by pressing F6 and then a keyframe on 10 by pressing F6 and also a keyframe on 20 by pressing F6 we can create motion tweens here and then we'll give it another stop action right here but first let's get this thing to be the size we want. So let's just resize it. Oops. Make sure we move that registration dot. Because we want it coming out of the top corner when it grows. Now let's just resize it. Right about there. something like that. Let's make the alpha zero. So that way it flies into view. First we're going to put this registration dot here and you'll see now it will fly into view correctly. See my content went this one just needs its registration dot up there too. That way all the animations will play right. So now, do the same thing to this last one, the last keyframe that we made there. Drag it up, get to about there, drag it up, and give it an alpha of zero. Okay, so that's the animation. So this one, we won't put a stop action here on 20, but we do need a stop action on 10. So we'll hit F6. F9, type in our stop action. That way, when they press the toggle button, here here is how it is by default. And this shouldn't be here, so it's control X off of that keyframe there. Okay, so here it is by default. There would be no window showing. When the user press toggle help, zip, the window flies in. Now we want to code it to where when they toggle help again, it does this action and flies back and then it will loop back to frame one where it stops and is gone from the scene okay so that's the logic of that you can press F5 here to extend these keyframes and so now all we have to do 
back in the mean in the main timeline we're going to put the code in for that toggle functionality to control that little movie clip window we just made that content window okay let's code this thing out above the toggle button layer put a new layer let's call this AS3 short for action script 3 press F9 on that keyframe and first let's grab our instance name for that button Control C we have to remember what the instance name is for that other one it was toggle screen for that window okay so first thing we'll do is just add an event listener for the button so toggle underscore btn dot add event listener mouse event dot roll over now we want to have a regular click event here and then we'll put the function name that we're going to create which will be toggle content that'll be the name of the function let me just close our parenthesis semicolon and the event listener is ready so now we can bring that down a little let's grab that function name control C let's make this function called toggle content so we'll type in front of it function toggle content and this is event colon mouse event which is the same as this one so we can just pop that right there close the parenthesis close off our brackets open and close the curly brackets with the curly brace and inside of this function is where we want to have our conditionals so we want to say if and you put your conditional between these parentheses open curly brace close curly brace and we want an else also else now you have a good structure there for if and else conditional so if some condition is met right here and let's say that toggle screen movie clip inside of it if toggle screen dot current frame is now an easy way to do this functionality would be just to say if it's greater than let's just say if it's equal to 1 then we want to open the window by saying or make it play its animation toggle screen dot go to and play keyframe 2 or if you want to make a frame label in there that, that that'll work too so if toggle screen dot current frame equals one da -da 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 -da, go to and play two else go to and play well, let me see let me lock this layer I'm gonna make sure inside of this movie clip you want to play the right label it would be ten so we're going to play 10 when we want it to close. That's all we got to do. Go to and play 10. So if the toggle dot current frame equals 1, the toggle screen will go to and play 2, which will be that window flying open. Else, it'll go to and play 10, which is that window retracting and going back up into the button. Now let's see if we coded it right. Let me get my browser over here. 
Just F12. Okay. Let me shrink this a little. See? Now it just doesn't keep flying open every time you hit the button. It has actually has brains. The button has toggle brains. We just programmed in toggle brains. Okay, so uh, that pretty much shows you everything you need to know about creating toggle functionality. And if you wanted it to look better, you put this on 30 frames per second. Publish out. And zoom, zoom. toggle me, toggle me. You know, toggle help me. You can even put a close button in that movie clip that would tell the parent or that would tell the movie clip to go to and play 10 itself a button inside of this movie clip that would fly out then there would be a button in the corner you know what I mean like any other X button or close button and it would just tell its its own inner timeline to go to and play frame 10 and then it would fly away like that isn't that really cool I think it's cool okay I hope you guys get some use out of that and that's Flash and Action Script 3 in uh, Flash CS3 or Flash CS4 Professional. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.